So how did Brit go from a small town Louisiana gal to a multi-platinum recording artist? She has talent, she can dance, she can sing, she can do whatever she wants. And she can buy whatever she pleases. Million dollar homes, fancy cars, exotic getaway, and a $20,000 handbag. Oh my gosh, yes, I feel very blessed. I feel very, feel very, very blessed. To say the least, and you're about to find out a lot more about why. It's good to be Britney Spears. Yo. Brittany Jean Spears, born Wednesday, December 2nd, 1981 in Kentwood, Louisiana. Population 2,699 plus one future pop diva. A Southern belle with down-home charm, Brittany was singing for local church groups before she had her permanent teeth. And by age 10, she formed her first band with best friend Courtney Brabham. One day we were just kind of sitting around and Brittany was like, hey, you know, we can sing and everything, so let's start a little group. So we made up a name, we were a touch of class, and then we would sing the Star Spangled Banner. We were so excited. That's one of my best memories of Brittany, being in the band and just having fun. Hopefully I'll do this forever. Little did she know. Oh, she knew. And to get noticed, music critic Andy Pemberton of Blender Magazine says Brittany took a familiar path. She entered various talent contests, sometimes winning up to $25 as a prize. 25 bucks, not exactly enough to retire. No, Jill Ishkanian of Us Weekly magazine says at that time, Britney couldn't even afford to get noticed. It was a really a struggle at the beginning for Britney to enter talent contests. These things cost a lot of money, like 30 or 40,000 a year. That's one entire income going to prepping your child to be a star. And Lynn took her daughter under her wing and just really had a huge role in creating the Britney Spears that we see today. But it wasn't overnight, and it wasn't without a few setbacks. In 1989, she auditioned, but got turned down for a role on the Mickey Mouse Club. The casting director said I was too young, but I really think you should go to New York, because he knew a lot of agencies that he could hook me up with. I went home, and we thought about it for a while, and then, so we packed up and went to New York, and that's when I did Off-Broadway play, Ruthless. And she took home $6,000 for her four-month run. Not bad for an eight-year-old. And now, she had money to invest in some formal training. Performing arts school teacher Betsy Pratt has fond memories of her star student. It was about 1991. She was very shy and sweet and, you know, fresh out of Louisiana. She stood out the minute that she sang or danced. She was born to be an entertainer, that's for sure. Next stop, Hollywood, and a $1,000 win on Star Search. Then, older and wiser, she went for the Mickey Mouse Club again. And got it. With a $1,500 a week paycheck. She wanted it all. One of those chances came along in the, the Mickey Mouse Club, and she, there she was with Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera. Is this when the hot romance with Justin began? Oh, come on. They were like 12. Besides, by 1994, Britt took her $78,000 for two seasons of work and traded in her her ears for her hometown of Kentwood and a chance to be a normal teenager again. Ha! That lasted for about a minute. I just really got bored and I wanted to sing again and the same fun functions in my hometown got really old. So um, my lawyer from in New York, I called him up and I was like, is there anything I can do? You know, he was like, well, let me see. And he called me back. He was like, you know, pop music is coming back really strongly. And he said, I think it would really make sense for you to try to come up here and get a record deal. Larry Randolph, who was an entertainment lawyer, who uh, suggested she go and see Jive, and in fact paid for her flight, a $200 flight to New York, so she could meet the big wigs at Jive Records, because her parents couldn't even afford it, unfortunately, at that time. So Jive Records, all they heard was her performing Jesus Loves Me um, live, and they also heard a demo. And on that basis, they kind of agreed to sign her. Mark Malkin of New York Magazine says that record deal changed Britney's life forever. They signed Britney Spears for $250,000. She went from, you know, small town Louisiana girl to making $250,000. I mean, that is huge money for someone who didn't have any money. In 1998, Britney proved she was worth every penny of her contract. Her single, Baby One More Time, was a smash hit. So not only did uh, the single, Baby, hit me one more time going the charts number one, it was the first time ever a woman had had a number one hit as a single and an album chart uh, with a debut. My main focus is to make sure that my fans are happy. That's what matters to me. Add another six and a half million dollars from her Baby One More Time tour, and that meant big bucks for the newly crowned pop princess. So I think her first tour made around six and a half million dollars. Uh, and once that was grouped together, the album sales, she sort of grossed 
$113 million. And that's when Peter Kafka of Forbes magazine says the singing sensation cashed her first multi-million dollar paycheck. So the first year that Britney was a star, she probably grossed about $15 million. And then in 2000, she did it again with album and tour number two. The second album was called Oops, I Did It Again. And I think it sold 9 million copies. So a massive out-of-the-box success once more. Put the album sales and the tour revenue together, and it's around $160 million at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, but I want to know what she's asking for backstage in her dressing room. Andrew Goldberg from SmokingGun.com says Britney's demands have gotten more sophisticated since her first tour. It was sort of very simple, you know, the deli tray and a couple of boxes of Pop-Tarts, some Fruit Loops and some Captain Crunch, and, you know, nothing that interesting. And then in 2000, she went back out on tour. She was a bigger star in 2000 than she was in 99, so the demands backstage jumped, so the deli tray gets replaced with, you know, albacore tuna made with Hellman's mayonnaise and eggs. So the Pop-Tarts aren't there, but so Suddenly, it's um, Cool Ranch Doritos, six cans of Coca-Cola, and red Altoids. You know, very specific demands. And by album number three, Britney had a new image. So long, teen idol. Hello, sexy siren. And of course, concert ticket sales went through the roof. Her tour that year, a dream within a dream, grossed about $53 million. In 2001, uh, Britney released her third album. Uh, sales from that, the advance from that, a tour, everything else she was merchandising. You add all those up, and she made somewhere around 38 30 $39 million. So she's young, beautiful, talented, rich. And sexy. How could I forget? Hey, you know, Pepsi noticed too. That's one of the reasons they asked her to promote their soft drink. Britney Spears had a $10 million deal with Pepsi Cola. She appeared in Super Bowl ads, slaunting Pepsi. She was, you know, everywhere. Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. And that meant money, money, money. Yep, thanks to continued album sales, tour revenue, and endorsement deals. Brit had another $40 million year. Coming up, what weighs 300 pounds, costs $70,000, and is always on Britney's arm? What? What? It's all about that. From Mouseketeer to Bonafide Pop Princess. Britney's a multi-million dollar music sensation. So now that she has money to burn, what is she buying? Many things, including a few unmentionables, according to editor-in-chief of Cosmo Girl magazine, Atusa Rubenstein. Britney is all about being sexy and girly, so one place you will always find her shopping is Victoria's Secret. Recently, she had the store shut down, and she bought five bags full of all this lingerie and little 90s all for herself. Now there's a visual. Mm -hmm, I thought you'd appreciate that. But to be cute and street legal, Brit shops at high-end boutiques, and Lisa Klein is one of her favorites. Brittany comes in when she's in L.A., when she's not working, and she always comes in with an entourage of all her peoples. A lot of times, when you see Brittany in the magazine, she's always wearing a hat. And a lot of the hats she gets from here. This is one of them. Motorcycle cap, which I think this is one of her favorite styles. This hat retails for $90 and it's cotton. Another must-stop shop for Britney is the Los Angeles boutique Horn. Owner Susanna Zanker gives us the scoop on one of Brit's recent shopping sprees. Britney came in on a Saturday afternoon, like around lunchtime, with her bodyguard, and she was just on a shopping spree. This is a silk top that um, Britney picked it up at, uh, from Milan, and it's $625, and she looked fantastic in it. <laughs> This is an item Britney picked up. It's a hot pants. They're very low-waisted. She had a great butt on them. And they're made from Goa, $98. Then she also got from the same line Goa those cargo pants. They fit super cute on her. It's also hand-painted, and they're $178. And another item Britney fell in love with is this halter dress. Comes in all these fun colors. It's $138. When it comes to shopping, Britney doesn't even have to be in the store to do some serious damage. Yep, in this case, all she needed was a credit card and a cell phone to purchase her first Poppy Harris tank. Brittany was in a salon in Beverly Hills and she stopped a uh, girl wearing a poppy tank and she stopped her. She said, oh my God, I love that top. Where can I get it? Um, and then immediately left, got into her limousine and phoned the studio and ordered 10 tops, six for herself and four for her friends for Valentine's Day. Brittany's favorite tank is the chocolate plunging V tank. It retails for 110. And when it comes to evenings out, Britney doesn't mind dropping thousands. Or dropping names like Jimmy Choo, Matthew Williamson, and Versace. She loves wearing Versace. She showed up to their show wearing an over $20,000 spangled Versace dress. And you know you've arrived when your accessories are just as luxurious as your gown. 
Brittany loves Lana Mark's handbags, and boy, are they expensive. She's got this one terrific silver alligator one with pink jewels. It'll cost $20,000. Brittany does not just wear any Movado watch. She's got a pink lizard diamond one that costs thousands of dollars. But Brittany doesn't always have to drop the big bucks for her fashion favorites. Publicist Emily Olson gives us the scoop when Seven Jeans set up camp at the Sundance Film Festival. We did it in association with Met Cosmetics, so it would be a full stop shop. At the festival, it was a big deal that Britney Spears was there, and it was, you know, she was sort of being swarmed everywhere she went. So we decided to do something a little bit different and have um, close the house and have her come through. She tried on some jeans and showed those to her. We had the Matt Cosmetics set up for her, and she got those. She took home three pairs of seven jeans, which average around $140 each. She took home a Grimaldi watch, which was priced around $2,000. And MAC cosmetic bag, with the cosmetics in it, of course, around $100. Brittany was very appreciative of everything. Expect nothing less from the pop diva. But we discovered that one of her favorites can only be found in her hometown. Tucked away in this unassuming shop called Connie's. These are the fairy collections by design. They run anywhere from $15 to $30. And this is probably one of her favorite collections. This this is a butterfly stained glass lamp with the fairy in the middle, and as you can see, it's pink again. And these run $39. She has these probably in every bedroom she has, and she has at least 10 of them. Despite a black belt in spending, even Million Dollar Brit can get carried away. Luckily, her longtime bodyguard, Big Rob, was there to bail her out. One of the funny stories about Brittany is Brittany was once shopping here at Barney's in New York. Brittany hands over one credit card, salesperson comes back and says, I'm sorry, it's been declined. Brittany hands over another credit card. That one's the client. So who comes to the rescue? But of course, Rob. Rob whipped out one of his own credit cards. Apparently, Brittany pays him anywhere between seventy dollars and $100,000 a year. Nice. But since Brittany and Big Rob are taking an extended break from each other, she'll have to find someone new to watch over her. Especially when she's club hopping. The Lounge and Joseph's are her personal favorites in L.A. And Lot 61 and Sweet 16 are Brit's hot spots in New York. Club manager Matthew Strauss says they always know when Brittany's about to arrive. Her uh, head of her security will give me a call personally and let us know she's coming down, how many people, and uh, what she wants to drink. We'll uh, take care of the tables and set everything up, which is this area right over here. She likes it back here. It's a private area for her. It gives her a lot of space to dance and can still be kind of private. And we have her walk through the back door, which is right over here. It's masked by this curtain. Now that's VIP service. Hey, they know Brittany is there to have a good time and spend some serious cash. When Brittany comes in, it's, uh, it's oftentimes no holds barred. Nothing is going to get in the way of them having a good time. Well, the bar tab can run there from anywhere from three, four hundred up to a couple of thousand dollars as well. Tip on that can be anywhere from two hundred up to a thousand. She's a very generous girl. Club manager Gordon Adams says Flo is also one of Britney's hot spots. Follow me, I'll give you a tour of one of Britney's favorite spots. So this door is always locked because not everybody's coming through this door. And now we're into the back room, our VIP at Flo. Sometimes their table will have a bottle of vodka at the table. It depends on who she's with and what they're gonna do. She was supposed to show up one night for Justin. He had us hold a table for her all night right beside his table, and she completely blew him off. I actually got the call that she wasn't gonna come in, but I just didn't have the heart to break it to Justin that night. Aside from being a heartbreaker, Brittany is still down to earth. Especially when she returns to her favorite hangout, Nyla's, for some down-home Southern food. She's the same Brittany. Most of the time when she comes home, she'll make one trip by here. Brittany likes to grill chicken and vegetables, mustard greens, um, salads, sweet potatoes. Mustard greens and sweet potatoes. Mm -mm, good. That's a mighty fine eating. Coming up, what $110,000 item helped mend Britney's broken heart? It's all about that. Britney Spears is a true pop sensation. A sexy siren. And a good old Southern gal. Make that a rich Southern gal. I mean, she's been quoted as saying, I'm freaking rich. Britney Spears could have retired when she was 17 years old. Must be nice. I'll say, but Brit's not just out buying Versace and Movado watches. When it comes to makeup, she's just like every other 21-year-old girl.
One thing that Britney's really known for is her glow. And she definitely gets that from Max Powder Blush for $16 and Lip Glass, and that's $13.50. You would think for a superstar like Britney Spears, everything she uses is super expensive. But the fact is, this girl loves Bonnie Bell Lip Smackers. She's just a girl in her heart, and that costs like $2. On her salary, she could buy 19600000 tubes. But where would she keep all those? A woman doesn't worry about storage when she's getting a bargain no matter how rich she is. Yeah, I guess that deal leaves room in her fancy schmancy alligator bag for the price of her personal skincare expert, Sonia Dakar. Britney loves sun. All of us know what his sun can do. We start like washing her faces and all the treatments, so her skin became like super, super sensitive. Since my husband is the head chemist, I have to call him like the emergency phone call. I said, could you please do me a favor? I have to come with something in you for Britney. The next morning, I got the wash, and the wash is amazing. We call it B-Wash because the initial of Britney. And that B-Wash definitely comes in handy when she's jet setting. No doubt. When this talented teen isn't touring on the road, she's vacationing at some exotic location. Ooh, do tell. Actually, Michael Lewittis of Us Weekly, he'll tell us everything. When Britney Spears goes on vacation, she likes to go big. Recently, she went to the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas. Her room there, it was a suite with marble floors, a jacuzzi, a private entrance, a kitchen, and even butler service cost her about $25,000 a night. Yeah, it looks like she indulges now that she's single. Nope. Even when she was with Justin, the getaways were still extravagant. When Britney Spears was dating Justin Timberlake, they used to vacation a lot together. In fact, they went to Maui a few times. They even went to the Caribbean island of Nevis. Tropical islands weren't the couple's only vacation hotspot. No, they also stayed at the extravagant Hotel Palomar in San Francisco, a hotel still frequented by both, just not at the same time. Amenities for the $739 a night, 1,000 square foot suite include Two king-size beds and three master bathrooms. Complete with three and a half foot deep Fuji spa tubs. Ah, uh, how do I make a reservation? Hold on, it gets better. Now that Britney's 21, she's really up the ante. She often goes to the Palms Resort in Las Vegas. She loves it there. She always gets this 1,000 square foot suite, but what she likes most about it is she goes to the casino, and the last time she was there, she won $25,000. You know, sounds like a good reason for a road trip. And she's got the wheels for it, a $150,000. Mercedes. And that's not her only mode of transportation. Well, the rumor is that Justin Timberlake bought Britney Spears that silver Porsche. Make that a $110,000 Porsche 911 Carrera. And Britney knows it's better to give than receive. Wait, she gave Justin the car? Um, no. But she did give one to her mother. She purchased her mother a Lexus that cost around $63,000. So mom's happy. Up next, how did Britney's sexy outfits do a good deed without her even in them? It's all about that. Make no mistake, Britney Spears is living the high life. Whether she's lounging in the Bahamas for $25,000 a night. Or hitting the club scene with her girlfriends. This darling diva's got it made. Not to mention her humble abode. You mean abodes. It's plural. Like any other major superstar, Britney Spears has multiple homes. She has a huge place in her native Kentwood, Louisiana. She's looking for a new home in the Hollywood Hills. She has an apartment in New York City. The first big purchase that Britney Spears made, you know, for herself and for her family was a Tudor-style stone mansion. She literally built from the ground up. And the name of the estate is Serenity. It gets on almost eight acres of rolling, sort of green, lush hillside. It's just, it's gorgeous. But since the nightlife in Kentwood isn't off the hook. She had to snatch up a loft in New York City. There's a building in New York City that Britney Spears likes so much that she bought her brother an apartment in it for nearly $900,000. It's on the eighth floor. A few years later, she bought an apartment for herself in the same building on the 11th floor. Her place, though, is multi-tiered, has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a roof deck, and cost her $3 million. And of course, Britney needed a piece of the West Coast. Hello, Hollywood. Actually, not anymore. So Britney bought a house high up above Sunset Plaza between $2.8 and $3 million in late 2001. There are reports that Britney didn't want to live in that Hollywood Hills home because there were too many memories of Justin. So she got rid of that home. And she sold it for nearly $5 million to none other than Brittany Murphy.
Wow, another million to add to her bank account. Yeah, just what she needed. Yeah, but Britney doesn't pocket all her cash. She likes to share the wealth. Britney Spears may, may make $50 million a year, but you know she does give back. The Britney Spears Foundation is a huge charity. Britney is very big on charity. You can say that again. In 2001, the pop icon gave $500,000 to a Britney Spears Foundation. Nice, but where's the money going? Calm down, it's coming. There's a bunch of, um, you know, underprivileged kids, and they come and they get to sing and dance with the best singing and dancing coaches. At the very end of the 10 days, they put on the show for their parents. It's, it's really cool. Almost as cool as watching Britney perform in those sexy costumes. GottaHaveIt.com agrees as they auction away Britney's personals, raising a total of $265,000. Most recently, Britney announced that she's actually going to auction off a lot of her clothes and a lot of her belongings for the Britney Spears Foundation. Well, I have a slave for you. Julie outfit that I did last year, the Catholic girl uniform that I did in the Baby One More Time tour. Oh gosh, a bunch of stuff. You can say that again, sister. You've got a bunch of, bunch of stuff. Yeah, in case you need a reminder, she's got a $20,000 handbag. A $110,000 Porsche. Three multi-platinum albums. And a $4.5 million home in Kentwood. I'd have to admit, it's, it's good, good to be Britney, Britney Spears. Spears. She's come quite a long ways. She's grown up. And she's got this really good thing going where she's sort of got a healthy sort of, uh, seems to be kind of, you know, um, confident and the girl next door and sort of uh, all that. Plus, she's got this big sexy thing going on. She's really confident about her sexuality and not afraid to hide it. But the coast is clear. My wife's inside. I can drool over Britney. Yeah, she's like a womanly girl and a sort of girly woman. I think she's doing awesome. I think she's going to be around for a long time.